Hello friends, welcome to a new stream over here. Today we're gonna be uh, playing some high level video games. Or at least that's the plan. Of course I can't predict whether it's going to be high level video games or not. But uh, I'll try my best. That's all I can do for now. Just try, try, try. Ooh, I'm trying to log in and it ain't working. It's not a good sign. Oi, 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 oi. I hate it when things don't go well. Yeah, we'll, we'll start with a couple of games with Terran. And then we'll follow it up with... Well, I'm not so sure what we're going to be following it up with yet. Probably with some Protoss games. Decided to start a little bit later than usual today. The reason for that is simple. If you start later, you can go till later as well. It's a trick that I learned when I was young. So much younger than today. I never needed anybody's help in any way. And now these days are gone. I'm not so self-assured. Sure. No, no, no. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Hi, Harsten. Big fan. Not uh, thanks. Not enough minerals. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Where are we all hailing from today? In this fine, uh, what is it, Wednesday afternoon for me already. Not enough minerals. I was curious where everyone is from. Awesome, just got home from work. Perfect timing. Ooh. Either you're an early worker in Europe or you're a little bit further east. From Germany, Australia. Aloha from Hawaii. Very nice. Never been to Hawaii. Considered going to Hawaii. There's a there's a, a singer that I really like from Hawaii. He's called uh, John Cruz. And at some point, the plan was to go to Hawaii and to visit some of his concerts, but then I decided against it. It's pretty expensive to fly to Hawaii from where I am. Howdy from Texas. <laughs> Nice. From Sweden. Just going to work. First time catching the stream. Glad to hear it. Night shift in Hawaii. Oh, nice. You're a club DJ. There we go. What's holding the clubs right now? You know which song I like at the moment? That's in the hit list. I like the Miley Cyrus tune. Does that do well in the club or no? The flowers? Yeah, that's a banger, isn't it? Freaking Miley Cyrus. Banger after banger. As a club DJ, do you just uh, do the stuff that you enjoy? Or do you just check what's uh, what's popular on Spotify or on TikTok and then play that? Like, what's the process there, my friend? I always wondered. I feel like club DJs have some power in deciding what's popular, you know? But at the same time... Because... I I feel like most of the time the same people are going to go to similar clubs, you know, especially if you're in a smaller city. You're probably going to see a similar crowd every single week. That's at least what I'm what I'm expecting as a club DJ. Never been a club DJ, but if I'm thinking about what life as a club DJ entails, that's what I'm thinking of. Okay, I'm just going to get a little bit of uh, gas mining. Don't want to oversaturate that base immediately or fully saturate. Actually prefer focusing more on minerals. John Cruz is amazing. Yeah, I'm a big fan of his. Oh, that's also a big fan of losing my first marine. So, let's hope... Uh, eh, maybe I can actually fight this? I think I can actually. There we go. That always feels so beautiful when stuff like that happens. He really thought he had me there, but he didn't. Oh well. Gonna repair this. Owner has a particular vibe he wants. Uh, that must suck. My girlfriend uh, worked at a at a restaurant before, <laughs> and she told me that uh, the the restaurant next to them would always have the the same like like live musicians that were playing and they only played the same 12 or 13 songs for like five hours straight so it drove her absolutely mad it was like some songs that she really liked she would work like like four days a week or so she'd go absolutely bonkers listening to the same tunes again and again and again like being a live musician like that must not be very fun just playing the same songs literally the entire night just running through the same playlist like 35 times 
It's probably not why you signed up to become a musician. Oh well. That's life, I guess. Spouse now, right? Not yet. Soon though. Uh, fiance, yeah. Fiance for now. I think I forgot a depot somewhere. Nah, we'll be fine. So I'm just before uh, the thing finishes up. Before Blink finishes up here. Please tell me he's here. Ooh. Glad I managed to survive that. Probably on the bunker as well. And we want a, uh, yeah, one of these. Bunker and a tank. Too late. Oh, I have two eBay's accidentally. Didn't quite remember that. Build hasn't been completely tight, but I think it's been tight enough that I can probably just straight up win. Actually gonna go back home with this to repair both of these bad boys. And I want to start my Marauder production as well. Might as well just get one one going. I mean, if you get two eBay's, you might as well. What is this? What is <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh no. Was this his natural? Was this actually my opponent's natural? I hope not. Oh, I feel so bad for people that do this type of stuff. Because what happened here is is fairly simple, okay? Let me explain it to you all. If you don't understand it yet. Um, what happened over here is uh, a little something where he tried to trick me into believing that he was on one base, but in reality he wasn't. The problem for him is, is that I didn't scout. Oh, I feel so bad when people try to properly trick you, and then I play like an idiot and the trick doesn't work. I really feel bad for Protoss players. It was a, a pretty cool play, I guess, but yeah, definitely didn't work out. And now he's, uh, he's stuck, sucking. Yeah, this is really garbage for him, honestly. Do want to heal this a little bit as well. I can actually get an armory, one of these. This is not a very tight builder that I'm playing here, but my opponent's build order also isn't very tight. I don't think it's going to matter all that much. I'm gonna send this across the map. Send this one back home. I wanna clear anything that uh, tries to jump into my main base. Yeah, we're a little bit fast with the extra upgrades because I accidentally built two E bases. Not usually what you want in life. <laughs> I can't believe I accidentally found it. That's so stupid as well. God, I got so lucky this game. Forgot to start my combat shield. That is not very lucky. That's actually. That's also not unlucky, it's just bad. I don't think I can entirely blame this on luck. I could try, but I don't think anyone would fall for that. Way too little gas as well. I have an interesting build that I really want to play against Zerg, which I think is going to be cool. Honestly. Eh. Yeah, I figured. I figured there was going to be absolutely these bad boys everywhere. Yep. I am not surprised one bit. Hello, where's my... Uh... Oh, I already had two medevacs? Okay, this game has not been so tight, honestly. Been watching you for years now, almost every bit. Just want to say thanks for all the excellent content. Thanks so much, W King, for the 99 Udos. Holy crap. That's a lot of cash, my friend. I very much appreciate it, indeed. Thank you, buddy. I think I can just set up here now and go for it. Can I? I'm not so sure about that. Oh, well, maybe I can't. Oh, I definitely can't. Oh my god, this, is, this has been pure chaos, honestly. <sighs> this has been pure chaos. So does he have this base as well? No, he doesn't. So he split, split up right now. I think I should have just stayed at home. I made so many mistakes here. I regret everything I did already this game. Can't fly back home with me, buddy. Fly me to the moon, let me play among the stars. La 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 on Jupiter and Mars. What's your upgrades? One one. In other words. Oh, na, na, na. Look at these uh, SEVs actually doing a fantastic job here just doing nothing. Often SEVs doing nothing is the best thing they can do. Honest to God. Probably should have tried picking that up. Yeah, maybe I can clear it. Maybe I can't. Oops. That could be bad here. 
mean, he doesn't really have detection, though, does he? My friend here. I don't think he does. Nice forward field. Good attempt, at least. Just gonna get more and more of these. And once I get 2-2, two, two, I feel like life should be okay-ish for me here. I also kind of want to get plus three immediately. I'm getting way too many uh, of these flyers. What do you call them? Metafacts. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Probably need a uh, Ghost Academy as well. Huh? I think he's everything at home right now. Seems like he has a significant army at least. I don't know. Game doesn't feel entirely winnable for me. But maybe I'm wrong. I often feel like I'm losing with Terran, and then in reality you're actually winning pretty hard. Sometimes you feel like you're winning pretty hard, and then you end up losing pretty hard. There's often nothing to be uh, useful to be said about anything in life. Especially not when you're playing Terran. Now, this base is pretty much empty already, so... This definitely was his natural, right? Yeah. That's gonna kill one of these. I can live with that. Not enough. Gonna get three more barracks as well, and... Is he really gonna attack me here? No way, right? Definitely do want some ghosts, though. Get plus one as well at some point, I guess. Would be nice. Okay, yeah, whatever. Um, I could spread these across the map a little bit better than mines, but... Rather than doing that, I decided to just go for the for the kill here. He's moving across the map. It's gonna clear some stuff, but also all of my mines are actually getting shots in, so that's nice. Where's my units? Just completely lost or what? Yeah, seems to be the case. Oh well, whatever. 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 We were meant to be together. I got three more barracks now. Ooh. These guys are okay often. But not so great against Ghost. Um, so that's something we definitely want to keep in mind here. Where are you at, buddy? Oh, I want to kill you so bad. Oh, man, there's one more here on the far left which i kind of missed there a little bit upset by that perhaps yeah i wonder if i can just continuously move back and be completely fine here i think i probably can be right oh one more shot on this oh that was a little bit of miss micro do i want more ghosts i think i actually do Where's my ghost? Where are them ghosts at? Ooh. I drank a little bit too much. Arch, 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 arch. arch. No, I actually want this as a planetary, probably. I can't just always continuously build orbitals. It seems like a bad plan. I definitely do need more ghosts. Um, hello? You go over here, chief. And you are going over here. Ooh, that's interesting. So all we need to do is just dodge the storms. That was a good start. And then my... Uh, ooh, my Vikings... Or sorry, my uh, my Liberators hopefully do the rest. Did I just siege it up into a cannon? Despite knowing where the cannon was. I siege it up into multiple cannons here. Oh, that's great as well. God, I'm glad I'm alive sometimes. I'm just going to move this over so I can start my upgrades on this. If I at least can find the money for that. Definitely need some more gas. Oh, no, no, no. That's bad. Ooh. Okay, here we go. I thought there were colossi here, but it doesn't quite seem to be the case. Uh, wait, so then why am I building Vikings? Uh oh, I want to keep the massive storm into the face. Not 
a huge fan of how everything is going here, but we did manage to keep this alive at least. That's something. I don't quite feel this as as a good thing so far, but maybe we can still win. Okay, I think I'm dead. Just gonna get more and more liberators here. Probably need some type of uh, secondary army on the map as well. Probably we would be good for me. I'm just gonna be my fort base from now on. Okay, it's gonna die. I hope. Not enough. Hmm. Not super great. But this one's gonna fall. So that's a base down. And we just want to clear every unit that we can, right? Can we fight this? I think we can. That's good. This is gonna be good as well. This is upgrades 3 3 already. Fly away! We need more of these guys. Because with these guys, we're gonna win the game. I think we have one push in us, and that's going to be it. Nothing else. And I got one more base just for banter, but I know it's not gonna be useful at all. Do we have any ghosts remaining? Okay, I have one ghost remaining. That's it. I feel like this is not really it, though. I wonder where his army actually is. Gonna need some turrets in case DTs ever decide to show up. This looks good for me, I think. No? Okay, look at this move. So I see this army being here, and I'm immediately going to move around. That's such a good boy move, I think. Oh, this didn't feel so nice. Just gonna be real with you all. This didn't feel so nice at all. Oh, killed a lot of his own units, though. That felt a lot better already. Now we're gonna clear everything that he owns. Especially his production. And his workers. I wonder if we can just take one good fight and hopefully be done with this all. Is this the only basis? No base over here? That seems to be the case now. Please tell me there's nothing coming from the back. You think there's any storms available in this army? No way. There's definitely a lot of storms available here. That doesn't feel so nice for me. Okay, but perhaps with these bad boys we can actually do something. Yes, shoot those out. I don't give a crap about that. I want to continuously shoot you. I think I can actually deal damage. I feel like that's not a good move. Out of my opponent. We're gonna need more and more of these ghosts. Okay, there's nothing here. I should really stop scanning to, to scout for things. I should instead just move over. Okay, so he's technically also on a very low base count right now. Ah! Thought I denied all the storms. There's one more storm available, actually. I can see it as well. That's an issue. I'm just gonna deny this army from ever seeing me. Don't think we're gonna win this game. We're actually coping. Thank you. Please notice me, Harsom Senpai. Thank you for the two bucks, buddy. clear this that's for sure maybe i can clear some more stalkers here as well i mean as long as we just trade proper trades i think life's okay now 
I was afraid there's gonna be some DTs, but I don't think life's actually gonna matter anymore. Ah, uh, yeah, portraits. Almost had him in the end, though. I think maybe if we don't fight there and we just stay alive, we clear some more bases. Our eco, nah, we're being outmined hardcore. Mm, tough luck. Oh, hi, Captain. How's the high StarCraft Seas treating you today? Not terrible. I went 0-1 so far, so... It's not the end of the world. It could be better, it could be worse. Okay, let's just put it like this. <sighs> Do you believe certain units are imbalanced at low MR? I was thinking about the ending joke of the latest IOTIS. Um, yeah, probably. It's always going to be the case. Like, certain units are just better at certain levels. That's That's just life. It's true. But that doesn't mean they're really a proper imbalanced, if you know what I mean. Fly me to the moon. So now I'll play one more game with Terran, then I'll let her a bit with Toss. I don't really feel like off racing too much today. I want to play some real games as a Protoss player. What is the best way to improve APM? Probably just playing a lot. Although improving APM is never really the goal. The goal should be getting better and you'll probably improve your APM automatically. Like you'll, you'll just get faster as you play more. I don't think there's any real point in um, trying to kind of uh, inflate your APM for no real reason. It doesn't make sense to me. Showdown. What about time, huh? Crazy streak? Yeah, time is pretty good. Not enough. Like, all of the series that he played were just insane to me. If you ask me. Literally every single... I don't know. The fact that he went 2-3 in his groups... Um, and then made a pretty sick run through the bracket. That's kind of crazy. He'd really be probably the best players of the race as well. You could say that maybe Serral's better ZVT, but I don't know if that's even true. Lost to Ragnarok though, 0 2 in groups. Lost to a lot of people in groups. Barely made it through in groups and then wins the tournament. Not enough minerals. I think many developers have problems balancing units to please the pro players as well as casual players, yeah. So when, when I was talking with the Frost Giant people, so the people that are making Stormgate about stuff like that, I think they had some interesting thoughts there. Right, like the kind of having things like auto-casting, where you make units basically worse for lower level players, but easy to use. And then once you get into the higher levels, it becomes better to do things in a different way. Like to do it manually, to get the optimal result basically. Which I, I thought was an interesting concept. So like one example that I remember Ryan used. Um, uh, imagine you... Jesus, this is annoying. I think I can just... Keep this alive now, yeah. So, so one thing that he mentioned is that uh, a thing you can do is you can have like a building tab. Like imagine rather than having to select an SEV, you have a building tab, and you just select in the building tab that you want to build a a supply depot. Then it will select a random SEV to build that supply depot, right? Now. This is a good way to do things if you're pretty bad and you're struggling to just get a, rent, a regular build order down. But once you get to the higher levels, you want to be in control of which SEV will build what building to optimize your build order. So this is a good crutch for lower level players, but becomes a lot less useful later on in the, you know, in your life, in your StarCraft or whatever game you're playing career as you, um, what do you call it? As you get better and you start becoming more and more optimized. So I think it's one of those things where you can have units be good at a lower level and not be overpowered at a 
higher level and the other way around as well. So have them be very good at higher level, but not so useful at lower level because they lose a little bit of their strength for whatever reason. I really think there's something there. I think that's one of the biggest issues when it comes to balancing in StarCraft 2, is that you can have massive issues at lower levels, which shouldn't be fixed because it would perhaps break things. <sighs> nice. It would perhaps break things at a at a higher level. Not enough energy. And I think it's something that really wasn't thought about for a long time in StarCraft 2 as well. Like how to how to how to kind of navigate that. Hey Captain, I watch you from Costa Rica. I always watch your videos. I want to say hi. Hello, buddy. Mm. Shout out to all other Costa Ricans watching. Never entirely sure how this build order actually works, but then again, people that try hard on their build orders are usually idiots, so not too worried about that. Up, oh, Raven. Plus more. Oh, this is interesting. Additional supply depots required. So. Additional supply depots. Wanna deny mining time for as long as possible, obviously. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Maybe I can get one more, one one more second of mining time than I have. It doesn't really seem to be the case here. Oh well, oh well, oh well. Not enough minerals. He's attacking his own building there. And what most likely is going to happen, he's going to start moving across the map at this moment. And as that happens, I am going to send my Raven across the map. So basically a, a force of counter arrest. I dealt a lot of damage with my mine drop, uh, especially in, in mining denial. Like not so much direct damage, but a lot of indirect damage. And that can often be enough. Uh, actually... So I, I don't feel bad in this game at all. I think this was a good start. If I actually had a follow-up builder, okay, now we see him even move out here. That means that we can freely go in with our Raven as well. Because we know, no matter what happens with this Raven, I know that it was good for me, basically. Two, three, one, two, three. I'm going to explain that uh, in a little bit. Don't worry. I'm not forgetting about it. So if there's stalkers at home to deal with it, it means he had to warp in more stalkers, which is really bad if you're playing two gate triple base. Because it delays your infrastructure. So then my push is going to hit harder. Uh, and if he doesn't have stalkers in position, I get to do what I did just now. He's forced to pull workers away and I kill a couple of his workers. I kill three workers here with my Raven, which is a really nice initial kill. This is why, this is one of the reasons why I think two gate openers are just not really popular at the moment and also just not considered so good. It's mainly because of that. Have, being forced into a, you know building batteries and warping stalkers at home actually really messes with your build as a Protoss player. And I know that because I'm a Protoss player. And I think a lot of Terrans know that because they're not idiots. Or well, not complete idiots at least. Every Terran has a little bit of idiocy in him or her that can be saved. Is about to finish up, which is nice. Fly me to the Not moon. Enough minerals. Let me. Not enough minerals. <laughs> Ready for dust off. Jupiter. So if you can save your mines, that's usually a huge thing. Oh, what was that? Seems to me like he was <laughs> he's getting ready for a cheeky warping or what? Not enough minerals. Yeah, like I said, if you can save your mines, that's huge. If you can save your mines, that's often a little bit frustrating. Mines represent a large portion of your damage output, so if you can make them shoot multiple times, that's just great to have. Oh, we actually had some uh, some vision here, it seems to me. So we see him over here. We know that he's down there. 
We can get a Ghost Academy as well at this point. Not enough minerals. Upgrade complete. Definitely want to send this over. Maybe even want to get one Viking to deal with that. I often feel like that's something that gets underrated a little bit. Not enough minerals. Mineral and we're just gonna send. Uh, oh, that's a good move. Add on complete. Ready for dust off. Not enough minerals. Glad that he decided to pull that away, otherwise I would have been disappointed in my opponent. Never good, okay. Looks like Storm to me. That means we have a, a longer timing window. We're just gonna force him into the turret here. Or force him away. Now, most of the time Protoss players then send the, the prism to a different side, because they feel like they've been spotted in one side, then send it to the exact opposite side. It's very common. And this gives us a free opportunity, basically, to do whatever we like. Whatever we please. Wanna get full mining here as well. Go into three more barracks. Probably add a second eBay. If two ghosts. Three ghosts. And we have a decent chunk of uh, mines as well, which is good. Hm. Upgrades are equal. If I hit my uh if I hit my EMPs, I win the game. I think I went again here. Yeah. I definitely did hit those. I thought they were really need the mines, maybe? Do I? Don't want to attack into super battery, though. Mm. Playing this a little bit sloppy still. Interesting. Run by or something. Not sure if he actually should have moved back there. Felt like he might have had an opportunity to actually do something useful. Because now I'm just gonna kind of pile on over here, and as long as my uh, mines get to shoot another time, I win the game. A lot in this matchup against uh, this type of composition depends on mines. If you can create a minefield large enough that he can't break it every single time, eventually you're just going to win. I think there's a Templar in that prism, isn't there? Yeah, there's definitely Templar in that prism. But it doesn't matter. Another thing you can do here in this case is just send some Liberators over across the map. Sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. But I don't think I'm going to need it here. This. Could he have storm? Not yet. I don't know. I'm never gonna get storm either. This thing should be pretty darn over. Uh, one of them has storm here. Yeah, whatever. He has so much supply still, it really doesn't matter to me. Hoppa. Hoppa. That's just beautiful. Rather than killing the pylon, always clear the units. If you clear the pylon, sometimes the warping can get cancelled, and your opponent can get its money back. Something you don't really want. That was a win. Beautiful stuff. Let's play some pros games, huh? I guess fundamentally for Disruptor to be good, it requires a player's concentration. Disruptors, I think, are very good when you have decent control. Uh, at lower level, I actually think Disruptors are not so great. And Storm tends to be better quite a bit
If you could remove one unit from the game, which unit would it be? Hmm. I don't actually know. Probably the Lurker. Not because I think it's too broken, but... It doesn't seem to play very fun most of the time. Like when I think about the Lurker as a as a unit, it doesn't spark joy for me. I think the reason it was brought in because people had like some nostalgia from Brood War. People keep forgetting that Brood War is not a very fun game to play. And that maybe the Lurker worked in Brood War, but I feel like... I don't know. It's not a huge fan of how it works in... Uh, Starcraft 2. Is there a delay on your YouTube stream? Thought you were in game. I just hit search really fast. Finally got into Diamond League, but I feel stagnated. What's a good tip to break through? Also, you're one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, I don't know. It's really difficult for me to give advice on an individual level without having individual information on what you do and how you play oh i actually can get it down that's super unfortunate for my opponent yeah was a little bit close but good enough for me what are you looking for huh i have no clue it's not here i think i think a good way generally to improve is to to benchmark yourself against top players and see how close you are with those benchmarks. Okay, he's building a zealot. He's probably gonna build a pile in here then. It's a bad play, but it's a play that maybe will work out. I don't know. Okay, full wall with a... I think he's going to... To do something here like he's sending units across the map he's almost forced into a one base island we can actually go over this replay because it's kind of interesting what's happening here do we need to block this off i made a mistake with that I, I don't even properly need to block it off i think yeah, this game is uber over like legitimately uber over gonna be a oracle before everything as well or what yeah I'm here in the it's gonna be an adept i hope but even if the adept gets in which i might even just let it in for banter this situation is so good for me it's ridiculous because i know exactly what unit he's building just gonna build two pylons here ah didn't have the money for the second one Unfortunate. Okay, he built a stalker now. I'm gonna let this pylon finish because every second delay means he's going to be oversaturated on uh, on, on one of his other on, on his main base basically. And I want to see if he's building a second order core or not, which he's not. It's also a little bit odd, honestly. But whatever. Just gonna get a battery here in that case. It might just be order core into three gate or something along those lines. Should build a. Should have put a stasis down there. So the only way I'm losing right now is if the follow-up is going to be DTs. Um, or unless he proxied a, a base somewhere else. Gonna get a robo blindly. Like I said, I'm not seeing any way to lose currently for me. Which is... Yeah, this was not a good opener out of my opponent. He must have cancelled the zealot though. So I think he has a base somewhere else. It's impossible that he doesn't. Yeah, he's gonna clear this. It's a good call. Denying some scouting is really the only thing he has is that I don't have full information. The moment I get full information, the game completely ends. The game is already completely over, though. I took zero damage against his Oracle. He had a later Nexus than I did. My blink is going to be faster. Once again, the only way I'm losing this game is if DT show up and snipe my robotics facility right now. Okay, this is his natural. He's on four workers. Good luck. Probably he's trying to take this base as well at the same time. Yeah. 
This is what we call a major game over. We're gonna attack from here, in between this area and this, so he can't he he, he can't defend in between, basically. That's what I'm uh, I'm aiming for here. Getting two more gates. Usually I don't like six gating because I think it's bad, but if you're very far ahead and your opponent is split up already, like imagine my opponent was actually on two base and this was his natural. It would be a very different story. Because then he could just ba uh, basically sit and camp on two base. And there's really not that much I can do about it, right? It's really difficult to break two base protos like that. But because he's split up, he has two areas to defend. Which means he can't actually camp. So, I don't actually know what he's going to do. I just feel like that whatever he's going to do, it's going to be very difficult for him to pull off. If he takes a third base, that's going to suck. If he's not taking a third base, that's going to suck. Um, he's going to have less stalkers than I do because my eco is way superior to his. The one thing I am kind of afraid of is an oracle maybe getting into my natural at some point. Oh. Oh, I didn't pay attention there at all. That was poor. That was really poor by me. I saw it happen. For some reason, I didn't want to pull off because I thought I still had time, but I obviously didn't. Well, that was bad. No, oh, but that was also bad for my opponent. So now the only thing I need to be careful of is a... Um, DT heading in towards my natural. And what I can do here is I leave a stalker on hold position in the wall. That means if a DT hits it... Oh my god, I just lost my prism. Okay, that actually did suck. Oh, losing that prism actually is bad. Anything could have happened except for that. Oh, that was really sloppy by me. I regret that. I was in the middle of a story as well. But I don't appreciate that one bit, mate. Ooh! I actually think we might be in some trouble now. Probably gonna blink forward though. Yeah. Worst players often blink forward when there's no reason for it. Especially if they think they just had a good move before. Blinking forward almost never is worth it unless you are chasing a very winning fight or your opponent already has used blink. Otherwise, I'd never recommend it. If he snipes this prism as well, I'm actually in shambles. He could be defending between here now. I, I really messed up this uh, this defense, I have to admit it. Because you always want to use your, your blinks defensively is important. So I'm going to bait him into a worse position. That was a really bl bad blink forward once again. Actually lost him a bunch of stalkers. Now I can't blink forward because I'm breaking this position. So I'm just going to take a superior concave up here. going to send a couple of stalkers down here. Uh, he's getting a, a third base. Don't completely mind that, honestly. I think it might have even been a good call. We win the game. I should have never been so close, but I guess it wasn't that close. Yeah, he tried taking a third, probing up, and I was all inning. Losing that first prism was really bad for me, but didn't matter in the end. So that's nice. Gonna get six points for that and continue our climb. After the disruptor discussion, what are people's opinion on the ghost? The ghost is very good. But it also has a slightly higher skill cap. Than, than, than most units that are good. Thanks, man, for doing YouTube. Where have you been all those nights where I couldn't sleep? I craved content like this to the end of the day. I don't know where I was when you couldn't sleep. Probably was in my house. Not much I can do about that. Didn't really like how I played that that uh, that mid game though there last game. Harsem, I didn't get it, man. How did Rainer lose in Katowice? He did everything by the book. What is happening, man? I don't know. You tell me. Sometimes people lose. Sarah also shouldn't have lost to Ragnarok. Sometimes in tournaments weird things happen. There's not a lot you can do about it. I think people really underestimate how much luck or just the, the shape of the day actually matters in tournaments. Like, you can be the greatest player in the world and never win a tournament. Like, there are players that are have been much better than I ever was, yet I won two tournaments. And they didn't. Just because I got a little bit lucky with a bracket or um, I got a little bit, you know, I, I was in a good shape on tournament day, that type of stuff. They matter so, so much. People really underestimate that. You could just get lucky.
I wonder if I want to finish everything here. This guy's not bad. I appreciate uh, whoever this is. Gonna get another one of these. Double chronos? Okay, then we're gonna go into the main base. Allow us a lot of info. What? Double chronos? Hmm. That's interesting, actually. This is a build you don't really see that often. I wonder what the follow-up is going to be. We're gonna get full scouting info as well on that, so... Might be interesting. Okay, it's Stalker Stalker. What? Fly me to the moon. Let me play amongst the stars. Jupiter and Not a word. I'm gonna open with a star or with, an, with an oracle. This might look risky. And honestly, probably is kind of risky, but I'll do it anyway. Don't really actually like it. I probably shouldn't have gone for that. Oh, that was great. That was a very good move by my opponent, actually. Oh, not happy with that. Take my two kills. Probably should cancel one of these. I wonder if he's still going for it. Don't have a lot of info. I have a faster Nexus, most likely. If he's still attacking me right now, I'm probably in a bit of trouble. The double chrono, though. Cool move. Don't see that every day. Okay, I have a faster Nexus, that's for sure. Oh, there's two Stalkers down here. We can probably deal some damage. And we have good eco as well. And we have... Uh, I guess some something like map control. It's not like super map control. What? No way. Really? Huh. Really? Huh. Really? That is interesting, no? That means he has a Stargate. I, th I don't think this is good at all. I think this sucks. I'm gonna dodge this for a bit. Because now I think my opponent is pretty much forced into building more phoenixes. Or following this up with Oracle. Blink is going to be delayed, which is going to be his main bragging point, I guess. And I still have the ability to come in with double Oracle at any point and teach him a lesson. He's going to need one Oracle for detection at least. So I'm mentally preparing for that to hit me at some point in the near future. Send this across the map. I don't really need zealots in my army later on. It's nice to have one across the map for scouting. The nice thing about stasis wards as well, by the way, is that it actually scouts for you quite a bit. Like you can have them spread around. And, oh, what is this garbage? Uh, cancel it, cancel it, cancel it. Come on, come on, everybody. What is my man doing over here? I'm so ridiculously curious right now, huh? Oh, walks in. Oh, that wasn't entirely brilliant by me. Oh, no. Did he just lose the game? Did he just attack me without blink? But now he has blink. Of course, now he has blink. This is not... Oh, my God. If I had blink, like, legit five seconds faster, I think I would have won this game. I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do you? It goes like this. You didn't see that? The fourth, the fifth. The major league. On a third base. That's all I know. Oh, this is this is world's worst build order once again, and I'm losing to it. That makes me world's worst player. This is out of position. That's one thing I do know. 
Just a random pylon. So much harm caused by that one pylon. Interesting build order. I was kind of expecting an oracle behind it for safety. But because that wasn't the case, his blink actually was faster than mine. And I kind of misjudged the situation. I regret that. Doesn't mean this game is necessarily over. Just means that the game is going to be a little bit harder than I initially anticipated. 54. Kind of want to take a fort base already at this point. But might be dangerous. I think my opponent might go for a bit of an all-in here at some point. One more of these. Mm, you know what? Let's get a fort base. Fort base, robotics facility. So we get a lot of infrastructure here. Want to go up to a higher count of gates as well, I think. I need some scouting information in the next few seconds. See if he has a fort, yeah. Oh, so interesting to see how your opponents expand. Oh, nice. Okay, actually. Remember when I said that usually blinking after someone is bad? I think in this case it's allowed because I knew he was going to blink away still. I had enough stalkers to push him. Oh, there's. Ah, this is why he did it. Okay, well, that actually changes things. I thought he was making these moves kind of blindly, but. It wasn't being done blindly. Oh, I'm uber dead here, by the way. Can I just say that? Yeah, I can definitely say that. Some zealots. I don't think it's going to be enough, though. I want sentries. Centers are very important for me in this case, because they allow me to hopefully stay alive a little bit longer than I shoot. So I'm going to abuse my range advantage. What's that? Feels so nice for me. Just admit to that immediately. Is that real? Yeah, it's a real one. That's that. Oh. This is good though. I still got the super battery off, which is always nice. Got supply block. I wonder if I can actually do anything about any of this stuff. I'm gonna build one of these over here. So, gonna get a second robotics facility as well. Life is sucky for me right now. It really is. It's not good. wonder if there's any uh, breakthrough happening over here in this general area. Doesn't seem to be the case. Maybe I can just add some more cannons and pretend that I'm fine. And once we get into disruptors, you always still have a chance. Don't really like my chances here, though. So it is in the main base. That was a good blink by me. No, it wasn't. I like. <laughs> not the end of the world. This is out of position. It feels so out of position, doesn't it? Got a lot of workers. Come on. Go build some stuff. I want plus one as well over here. Felt like this game should have never been so difficult for me. Really never. What is this? Am I locked in or something? What is this garbage? Huh? There's no way I'm locked. Let our enemy know our fury. You require more Vespine gas. Consciousness awakened. Oopsies. Maybe we can clear this or what? Don't think we actually can. 
That was a good blink. Every time I make a good blink, I'm gonna say it out loud. Just to make sure so everyone's aware of how good my blinks really are. I need more gas, because I want to transition into into good units already. Okay, here we go. That's a good hit. That's a good one, potentially. Could have been better, but it wasn't. That's live as well. Should have definitely tried picking that up. Interesting blink. Well, a little bit risky for my opponent there. One more of these. Consciousness awakened. Oh, no, that wasn't great. We actually dealt a lot of damage here, didn't we? This is good. This was very good for me. Like these types of fights where your opponent kills one base, but you get to live your best life are usually actually kind of fine for you. Hello, where are you at, Chief? I wonder who this actually is, by the way. Not a, not a bad player at all. Probably gonna come in from an angle here. The enemy has discovered us. Ooh, that didn't feel so nice for me. Didn't feel so nice for me at all. Oh. No, come on, Kevin. <sighs> Dang it. I went a little bit too deep. I didn't think there was going to be this many DTs out, but I probably should have anticipated for it. Uh, and now we're stuck with not enough uh, carriers here, I think. You truly never have enough carriers, so I'm definitely going to be stuck with not enough carriers. I didn't start plus three yet either, but I'm going to give up on that. I think plus three is not going to make a difference anymore for me. The one thing that's going to make a difference is a large count of good units. If I can actually keep this base alive, that would be huge. Especially if I can keep it alive without doing anything for it. Those are the best types of keeping alive. Well. <laughs> there goes that dream, I guess. Uh, yeah, that was, I mean, it's a kind of to be expected. It's not the end of the world, really. Maybe I can clear something here. Yep, that was good. That was about five stalkers or so. I really need more carriers. It's the only thing that can save me, I think. I'm just going to build a new one of this. And make sure that I can be killed in my main base. That pylon definitely did me some favors there. Our pylon is under attack. You require more Vespine gas. There's probably uh he's eyeing an opportunity right now. Okay, so we know there's a base there. But we already knew that, so I'm not sure why I pretended like that was a good thing for me. Figuring that all out. I think I wanna go up to like six carriers or so. And he's definitely gonna go into my main now, right? Okay, there he goes. There goes my hero. Feels like this is actually gonna be okay for me then. That was good. The reason why I say that is fairly simple. 
is because if my opponent is gonna have more workers than me, which I think my opponent does, probably means that if I get one very good fight like this one, um, the carriers are super snowbally. So if you win one fight, you win every fight most likely. And the, the smaller the numbers of that snowball unit, the better it is for me. And maybe even just get these out already. All of these uh, interceptors here. Maybe I didn't want that actually. Please kill everything. Okay, not the end of the world, perhaps. Maybe he shouldn't actually be here anymore. No? Thought maybe I can catch something uh, warping in. Doesn't quite seem to be the case. I'm pissed off with this. Okay, clearing every single base right now. Right here, right now. Okay, that dies. This is going to die as well. And then we clear every single worker. We have a couple of these on the way. Maybe you can actually hit one. <sighs> nice one, Kevin. I hit absolutely nothing there. Love to see it. No, I don't want to die, I don't want to die, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. Consciousness awakened. Don't think I can hit that anymore. Wonder if he has anything uh, back here. If there's no base there, do I actually need to go hard or no? I don't think I do. Ah, does have better upgrades. Come on, jump in, buddy. That sucks. He's gonna try and kill this base, that's for sure. And we're going to try and catch him right now. If we can catch him, that would be huge. Ah, prick. I don't think I can win. I think I lose this game eventually. Ah, carriers are so slow. So stupid how slow this dumb unit is. This actually was a big discovery here for me. So I want to make sure that these stay out at all times, so I can easily switch them over, because I'm winning this fight fairly easily the moment I have all my interceptors out. But if I don't have my interceptors out, life becomes a little bit harder for me. Come on, clear him! Okay, now we're in here. We're just going to clear all these pylons, Asa. 
I guess. Just making sure that no more units can be produced. Are we still winning this game, though? I have absolutely no clue. That was kind of vital for my survival. No! I think now we're dead. Yeah, that was really dumb. The moment my uh, my dudes aren't out right now, I just straight up lose the game, I think. My interceptors. At all times, my interceptors must be out. And I'm also... Whenever I lose an interceptor, I actually can't reproduce it anymore, which is kind of bad. That was a mistake. I still think he's gonna win though, so maybe it wasn't a mistake. Yeah, nah, I just got a kind of owned here. Shouldn't have done that one counter attack. That was uh, that was bad. While I was stacking into carriers, I counter attacked and lost all my disruptors for free. <laughs> now I lost thirty or twenty five points. That's pain. Good morning, stream. I hope all is going well. Enjoy seeing you play at I am. We also nice seeing you, help Rainer. Great to see such a good community around this game. Yeah, playing at IAM was fun. I'm sad I lost. But that's life. Losing games you're not supposed to. Like the last one, for example. Hey, Arsene, how come you rushed to carriage in PvP? Last game was dead. Mm -hmm. My early game was too bad. After I tried moving out to take my third base, I don't think I ever should have been capable of winning. Why did you change your portrait? I've had this portrait for like years now. Maybe two years. What do you think about Oliveira's winning Katowice? Surprising. I, I didn't think that was going to happen. Before the tournament, I thought it was going to be Maru, Serol, Rainer, or Dark. During the tournament, I thought it was going to be Maru, Serol, Rainer, or Dark. Then everyone got knocked out except for Maru. And I thought it was going to be Maru. Then Maru got to the finals, and I thought it was going to be Maru. Then Maru went down 3-1. And I thought, hmm, maybe it might actually become someone different. And then it became someone different. So yeah, I don't know. It was a surprising result. Okay, buy MMR with USD? No. Nah, you can't buy MMR with USD. It is not pay to win. Thoughts on the new patch? Ah, thank you, Walter. And also thank you, Ghost Smoke, for the money. Um, I don't know. I don't have a lot of thoughts on the new patch. It seems fine. A little bit tricky against Zerg. When I was talking with other Protoss players, though, their main concern wasn't really PvZ, but seemed to be Protoss versus Terran. I didn't struggle so much against Terran. I struggled more against Zerg in my practice. Um, but yeah, most also said that PvT was very difficult for them. Should you buy Bitcoin? I don't know. Look, I'm a StarCraft 2 professional gamer. I'm not an investment expert. New patch is bad for Protoss in PvT? I don't know. I, I don't... I didn't feel it that much. I like I actually was doing okay in practice. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I I just don't know. You look tired, Kev. Maybe take a nap. I hate taking naps. Last night I couldn't fall asleep. That's why I look tired. I left like three a.m. or so, waiting to fall asleep. I hate it when I can't fall asleep. It's one of the worst feelings in the world. You think Saro misjudged the game? He seemed to leave early. Yes. I actually think he he should have should well he definitely should have stayed in. Continued playing and stay in. But uh Yeah. Seems to have misjudged it a little bit. And that can happen. It's unfortunate for him that it happened at the biggest tournament of the year. In the round of eight. 
Sero had a... I don't want to say a weak run, because he still, you know, got top 8, which is always good, but... For him, definitely a weak run, right? Was the DRG in the groups? Did he also end up losing to Solar in the groups? I can't quite recall. Arsene, where is Naniwa? Any signs of him? No. Naniwa sometimes streams on Twitch, but uh, I don't know much else about uh, what he's up to. I think he was studying to be a lawyer. Last time uh, I recall, I heard of him. When I can't sleep, I watch this YouTuber named Harstam Cast. He is awesome. You should give him a try. I actually can't stand falling asleep to videos. It just, I don't know why. I just can't do it. Don't like it and probably never will. When I'm trying to sleep, everything needs to be perfect. I need to be sufficiently tired. There needs to be almost no light in my room. The bed needs to be perfect. The temperature needs to be good. And if any of that is messed up, I will not be capable of sleeping. Yesterday I was just not feeling tired at all. Which was frustrating because I should have been tired. I had a long day. The problem with if you can't fall asleep one night, you need to make the difficult decision to either wake up early the next morning and basically, you know, eat a day. Where it's like this day is going to suck a little bit because you're going to feel super tired the entire day. Or you wake up later and you shift your sleep schedule for no good reason except that you were tired once i feel like that often eating the bad day is the the best long-term solution but a, a poor short-term solution Our is under attack. The Templar, yes. this guy has insane reaper control by the way freaking uh, nico wrecked he's probably gonna jump up here he often does that Did he scout or no? Yeah, probably. We're gonna play uh, Three Gate. Three Gate Robotics Facility. Go for a little push with that. Could definitely send one of these across the map to go for some scouting. Nico wrecked, Nico wrecked, Nico wrecked. Ba da ba ba da ba. yeah it's always so difficult when you have a bad night of sleep in general i feel like whenever there's going to be a company that figures out how to make people always sleep without like sleeping pills but there's like some other trick you're gonna be buzzing like that's a that's a this a game changer you know there has to be some way this is like some electric shock or something that push you to bed but still allows you to wake up the next morning. I know we have like uh, electric shocks that can probably put you to bed. Um, what is this? Nah, come on. This is bad. Don't do that. This is garbage. If you're watching this and you're thinking of playing a build like this, don't do it. This is bad. This is not a good build order. Oh my God, Nico rocked. I respected you. I was talking positive words about you. And then you build a cyclone like this on me. This is garbage. I'm going to explain after this game why, okay? I know I said that last time as well, but... This time I'm uh, I'm gonna be real with you all. I'm gonna explain for real this time why this sucks. God, this is garbage. He scouted as well. Come on, Nico Rock, get it together, my friend. This is not okay. This is not okay. What's he doing? What is this? What, what was he? Was he eyeing my prison? Oh, Nico, Nico, Nico Rock. This is not it. Uh, this is this is a disappointing place here. I'm a Nico Rekt fan. You know? I wake up in my Nico Rekt pajamas. Pour some coffee in my Nico Rekt, Nico Rekt coffee mug. That I got at the Walmart. Whoop! And then he pulls this trick on me. Yeah, really, Nico? This is, this is not what we said we were going to do, was it, Nico? Nico's a good talker, you know, so... I had an interesting call as well there. Nico, you sure you want to... Uh, 
Can you justify that scan somehow, some way? I, because I don't think you can. Ooh, he's moving. Moving, 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 moving. I hate moving personally, but Nico Rock seems to have no issues with it at all. Flop! Flop! I don't think I actually lost all that much there. Yeah, I actually get armor upgrades. <sighs> Nico Rock, Nico Rock, Nico Rock. He's not. Um, come on! You scanned that already. You knew it was there. You knew you couldn't reach it, right? Wait, you reached it? Never mind. I said nothing. I take back everything I said. Except, except the fact about the the pajamas. Uh, that's definitely true. Ooh, definitely took some uh, damage over there. Come on, sir. <laughs> Wait, what's happening here? No, I don't think you're gonna go across the map right now, buddy. Just have a feeling that you shouldn't be doing that. Okay, we're gonna chill over here. Ooh, that's interesting. Kill that. Oppa. Wait, where are you? Nico, my good friend. I forgot charge. Well, then this zealot run by is not going to do that much, is it? Oh, no. Frustrating. Oh, I didn't actually have vision here. I thought I had vision on this part. Might be there. Also, might not be there. Kind of, uh, kind of out of vision right now. Plus one attack, because we're gonna go into Colossus. Then we send our Zealot over here. Get some Immortals out as well. This all feels fairly nice. Fairly nice, fairly nice. On charge, that's for sure. I think he's going to push up this ramp and realize that I have a superior army. And then he he's killing this. That's interesting. So right now, I wish that I had charge. When I was young, yes, so much younger than today. I never needed anybody's help in any way. Oh, this is good. And now these days are gone, I'm not so selfish. Come on, clear that at least. Holy crap, Kevin. Help me if you can, I'm feeling down. And I do appreciate... Oh, I lost the freaking uh, Immortal there for free. Nice! Come on, maybe I can lose a couple more for free, or what is this garbage? This was not good, was it? No, it wasn't. Oop, gonna warp him in the main base. Definitely wanna move out a little bit over here. Come on, attack him, please. For the love of everything that's holy. I think we have a good setup. I'm sad we lost two immortals though. Immortals are some of these units where you you don't appreciate them enough on an individual level. You know, you have one immortal and it's garbage. You have two immortals and it's bad. You know, like individually they don't do anything, but all of a sudden you end up with like four immortals while you also have three colossi and then they start pumping and that's a that's a good thing so they are a good unit to have but you don't want to build them because they're expensive and individually they don't really contribute much it's a it's a great transition unit there's almost never an army where you don't want to have where you don't want to have them in it i just flew my uh what do you call it Just flew my my unit, my prism, into a into one of these bad boys. It's a difficult map as well, by the way. Oh, interesting. Oh, nice. 
Okay, this is really bad. Because I think I'm just dead here now. I thought I already had... Oh, no. Thought I already had the good thing there. No, he's back. He's gonna pick up into his main base. Into my main base, sorry. I'm here in shadow. <sighs> this game's going nowhere. I am playing some poor StarCraft 2 today. gonna keep this patrolling over here as well justice be done you require embrace the glory let our enemy know our fury i've had it for so long that's what's really pissing me off the i've had my fort base for so long and yet i'm i'm not capable of, of winning this game like a normal human being I wonder if I can just push across the map now. I don't think we should do that. Buddy? Don't think you should have done that. Okay, maybe we're just gonna win the game now. We have 2 2, after all. Oh, that should have been a shot. A one shot. He has nothing. Absolutely nothing. So all we, all we do is we relax, set up. Make sure we don't get surrounded. And we quite frankly should be fine. Oh, he has Vikings. Why do I keep thinking my opponents have nothing and then they show up with a unit that I wasn't quite ready for? Last time it was DT, this time it was Vikings. I hate attacking up ramps though. Doesn't feel good. You see that? God, they're so predictable, these Terran players. Or gates as well. feels good for me but at the same time i'm kind of afraid look how open this uh, this area is i don't think i can actually fight here can i yeah we do get a minor win here i guess ah this is not a fast warp in He wanted it. He thought I didn't have uh, have the brains or something, so he tried to stim forward and get it. But you can't catch me, my friend. Oh, never mind. He got me. How wrong I was there. Mm. So we have a lot of gas, which means that our next warpin is going to be pure DTs. These open areas are so hard though to navigate for me, honestly. Am I still winning this game? I know I said I was gonna warp in DTs, but I need to win the fights first, huh? Oh, that's not a fight that I can win. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Salas are really good against uh, against Marauders. What's the thing are good against? Oh my God! Got the mic there. Well, that's what the mic that part. Okay, that was good. Nice. Ten. 
consciousness away. <sighs> the vision situation on this map is so garbage, it pains me. Had a fifth base already. Don't think he should have left there. He had a good position with six lips. I don't know. Didn't look so bad for him. I think I could have lost this. This map is hard. What the heck? <sighs> Freaking maps, man. All these maps are difficult. I'm telling you guys. The Terran propaganda has been strong. Oliveira said anything is possible, so start preparing. Harsh demo weaves 2024. Yeah, but uh, Oliveira was playing Terran. Terran anything is possible. Protoss were happy we get one player in the semis. It's a it's a different beast, all right? It's a different beast. We we need some significant buffs in the Protoss versus Terran matchup. You want to show the replay? I did want to show the replay. Okay, look why I was disappointed here. This made no sense. How different is playing in the tournament compared to laddering? Well, for me, not very different. I usually lose on the ladder, and I also lose in most tournaments. So it's fairly similar. Harstem, you ever worry about stream snipers? No. Why would I worry about stream snipers? If someone has the MMR to snipe me, and then they cheat, there's no way that they're a competitive player. And if a competitive player would be caught stream sniping, that would be really pathetic. So... What unit would you target for buffs in PvT? I'm personally thinking of the Zealot. I'd like the Zealot to have 20 more HP. I think that would really contribute to the fun of the matchup for me. Imagine a Zealot charge lot. I wouldn't die to pushes anymore. Dear Harstam, what do you say to Rainer during his match against Oliveira? Um, not much. He just told me what he was going to do, and I agreed with him. I thought it was a good plan. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Look at this. My man scouts the Twilight Council here. And then the response is to play Cyclone. That makes no sense, because the Cyclone is good against Oracle. Why would you... When did he scout it? Okay, when did he scout it? Let's just have a look here. He scouted it here already, so that's before the factory finished. I don't understand why why we're building a cyclone here. This seems like a play that he thought of before the game, no matter what he scouted. But that's not how StarCraft works. His early game was garbage. I should have never lost this game. How's your PvP looking? My PvP is okay. It's not great, but it's fine. Raven on the way. We have a tank. Two barracks as well. When's the Cowboy merch store going live? Is YouTube revenue allowing you to do videos full time? Yeah, thanks for all the content. Yeah, YouTube allows me to do everything I want in life. And the merch store is coming live soon, in 2020. No inspirational coach tweet. That's not going to make the movie version. Nah, it is what it is. I think this game was over. I think kill a lot, though. I think I'm bad at... Uh, Knowing when to send in the prism as well. At this point, I'm supposed to send in the prism with four stalkers to start doing some harassment. I also didn't think this guy was going to be capable of shooting me. I thought it was out of range. Then I lost it for free. That was stupid. I was pretty low on workers, but it's not an issue. Yeah, I think I'm super far ahead. I forgot charge. That actually was really bad. And then I was late with my robo bay. I was late with my robo bay because I forgot charge as well. Like these things, they kind of, you know, they're, they're, they're one and the same thing. This map is just crazy, though. Just everything about this map is... This map is... This is the best Terran map, I think, in the map pool. In PvT. I think most Tosses vetoed this. It's actually insane how good it is. It hurts my brain. Then I flew into a mine over here at some point. This was really bad. I was way too far out. Should be way more defensive if I already have a fort base on the way. Yeah, the blink attack also shouldn't do any damage, but it did. It's a, Babylon is just a garbage map for Toss. Let's let's face the facts here, my friends. Neo Humanity for PvD, way better. 
New Humanity is a Terran veto most of the time. What do you think about going Templar Archives first and then row away a second major tech? I've had more success in PvT that way. It's possible. The problem with that is, is that it often feels like you're putting a lot of eggs into one basket. The basket being the prism and the eggs being the High Templar. On a map like this, where siege positions are good, that can suck. I think Stalker should deal splash damage. I like the thought of that. On a serious note, I believe all Proto splash sources are crap. Protoss doesn't have some reliable sort of universal splash damage that is easy to control or has very easy control like Siege Tank. We used to have the Colossus. I think the Archon is that actually. The Archon has consistent splash damage. The problem is it doesn't work against Terran because EMP is strong. Archon's help versus tank pushes, Storm before Ghost, and going to Colossus Disruptor. Yeah, it is possible. Uh, the thing is, is that Ghost counters Storm and Archon's. So if you go Archon's before Storm, he's going to have a massive one one timing with Ghost, where he'll most likely kill you. And if you play... And if you play straight Templar, then the first push can be a little bit hard to hold. So, like, it is played, but it is not very common anymore. It used to be a lot more common. But it's not the case no more. That's a fact. Is there a way to nerf Archon versus Ghost interaction without making them Imba? No. Because I, can, I think Archons without Ghost are way too strong against Terran. It's weird how in Hots Terran was actually like 20, 30 supply ahead in mid game, and other supply is usually even in PvT, but matchups seem still as balanced. I think most of the time Terran is still up 10, 15 supply though. If you're playing. Mm. Depends a bit on the scenario, actually. A lot of the time, Terran is still up in supply, though. A lot. A lot. <clears throat> is feedback viable against Ghost? Um, not as a consistent counter, no. Scan is too good. They always know your position. Not gonna lie, in my opinion, Ghost is the single strongest unit in the game. EMP, Snipe, Cloak, High DPS. Agree. Colossus splashes only versus light. Storm needs to be researched and hit. Archons have very little range. The splash area and disruptors are easy to dodge. Yeah, I think Archons are the best. Is this road to rank 1 but live? Yes, but rather than going up on the ladder, we're going down on the ladder. So actually, yes, it's just like road to rank 1. Good call out. Hey, what's up, SP? Please greet Alex from the Spacey Metzgerei from Wolfsdorf near Helmstadt in Niedersachsen. Thanks, Captain. Greetings to you, Alex. Is there a balance reason Archons have such high shields in proportion to their health? So they can be good against Zerg and Protoss, but not against Terran, I guess? With players from many other games often have a love-hate relationship with their game, do you enjoy your time with StarCraft 2? Yeah. Yeah, no, I enjoy my time with StarCraft 2. I like playing StarCraft 2. My ideal day consists of a lot of StarCraft 2 playing. You have not enough minerals. You have not enough minerals. Yeah. Definitely. The only thing that I dislike about StarCraft 2 right now is that it seems like at the highest level this is a very specific criticism for the highest level. Is that the strategic call diversity and the strategical innovation is very small. And we notice this as well as we look at the best players. There are often players who have very good mechanics. But players with a huge brain aren't necessarily there. I think StarCraft 2 always had a had to strike some type of balance between, you know, the, the build orders and execution. And I think in the past three, four years, it has been very execution based, more so than anything else. Like speed makes up for a lot of uh, thinking failures. That is my one criticism of StarCraft 2 right now. But this is only true at the highest level. Once I get down to 5, 6, 5, 7, 5, 8, 
I think anything is possible. And you can have your strategical innovation. But it just doesn't translate well to the higher levels. Is it just because StarCraft 2 is old? Um, yeah, probably. And not a lot has been switched up. I think people really understand how to optimize things. So there's there's really a kind of a a path to follow. Uh, in, oftentimes, gotta play the same build order again. By the way, I enjoy playing Blink every now and again. Not a great Blink player, but I'll make it happen. Does your Nexus have a rock? That's so cute. Yes, it's okay. I'm not sure if so cute is the, the word that I would use to describe. Ooh. Ah! Should have had that. I should have actually... Oh my god, this one's terrible. I thought I could clear him. I love clearing Reapers. And they love scouting with their Reapers. If they open with a Reaper and they don't get the scout and they lose it, the game is really good for Toss. Now he got a scout and managed to pop out. The game is bad for Toss. Hero just made all that is be good again. So, I think heroes, a lot of heroes' ideas or build orders aren't actually that good. Hear me out, though. I think often what makes heroes... Ah! That's a nice build, actually. Well, it's not a good build, but it works because I didn't scout. Wait. Come on, finish up, you idiot. Holy crap. I was gonna say something interesting and smart about Hero. The reason why he often does well with his build is because his early game is extremely good. He really understands the early game unit movement. And he often just gets ahead so far in the early game that no matter what he does, he's just going to end up winning. This is actually true. Well, probably remain true for a little bit as well. This was a really, really bad game by me. Can I say that? Yeah, I can say that. If I lose this, I'm going to lose 500 MMR. I'm going to be upset about it as well. Please don't die, Mr. Nexus. No, the next one shows up, of course it does. I think we're dead now. Oh, we were so close to still uh, staying alive, honestly. I don't know what his eco is. You think we're winning? Actually, I was thinking of throwing out a dark shrine the moment this happened. So there's definitely something here, right? Yeah. Okay, now we have a game on our hands. I hate when I play like an absolute moron. I hope we can actually deny this scout. <sighs> For a second I got a... Ah, uh, that's a good scan. That's actually a really good scan. What's the chance he... 
he has no base like realistically right what is actually the chance he has no base on the low ground done already i think the chance is like zero percent make it one percent they were dead This is why people scout. Uh, morning, Captain. I don't want to see how much. I 57 points! That's a 5 3 player. This is the type of guy I beat with my Zerg. Uh. Would you say that when I hit the diamond, I need to think about scouting and maybe playing other races to know what stuff does? Yes. That would be a wise thing to do. Do you think StarCraft could successfully turn into a virtual reality game? No. I don't think anything can successfully turn into a virtual reality game. I think most virtual reality games are really bad. No offense, of course, if you're a virtual reality enjoyer. Hey, Arsene, I love seeing you support Rain. I hope you guys still had a good time. I had a fantastic time. That's like you losing to a silver player. Yeah, that's indeed you losing to a silver player. Just rub it in a little bit more. God, that was painful. You think speed makes up for a lot of strategic thinking? Imagine playing as 150 every round pros or 300. What? If you think speed makes up for a lot of strategic thinking, imagine playing as 150 APM Protoss versus some 300 plus APM Zerg in Diamond League on this map pool. Okay, I'm imagining it. Why do you play second pylon before gas? I don't play second pylon before gas. Wait, am I playing second pylon before gas? I hope not. That seems like a terrible plan. Okay, this is a double gas opener. These builds are generally quite good. There's a couple of ways to, to deal with it. One of the ways is to play this. Wait, was it? Yeah, it was a double gas, right? Yeah, I scouted it. I was gonna say. I definitely scouted it. I forgot the wall, actually. That's quite bad. The beauty of two gas builds is that um, they're not so great against Stargate openers. And Stargate openers get made a lot stronger by going Nexus before core. So, although I'm not usually someone that endorses Nexus before core anymore, I think in this case it is quite good. Or at least it's somewhat useful. It's getting a second Reaper as well, which is important information. Hmm. So we're gonna get a little bit of a uh, battery on the low ground as well stargate battery and another uh, adapt i think it's going to be the main plan here for me we're just gonna delay our our warp gate by a tiny tad just to be sure i hope he pops up here at some point You have very nice eco with this. Actually, do have very nice eco. Never sure if I want to get a a phoenix or if I want to get a, an oracle here as my first unit. Probably just get a phoenix, right? Probably just get a phoenix. The correct call, as always. Did you just kill that? No shot. Gotta move this across the map. I got a robotics facility behind this. Should be okay. Maybe get a second robo at some point as well. Doesn't seem like a terrible plan. Shouldn't have chrono boosted this, should I? No, that was a mistake. We all make mistakes. Some people just make them a little bit more frequently than others. Uh, what are you doing here, buddy? Where's your starport? Huh? I think I'm gonna lose this phoenix. I kept it alive. Life is good and fair again.
Uh oh. Okay, a second one of these. Wait, do you have something proxied or what is going on here, buddy? There we go. Proxy battle cruiser. Mm. Not usually fond of that build. Should I cancel this and just? Yeah, I think so. Continue building more and more units. Probably a superior play here. So what I'm afraid of right now is I'm going to start working on the starport. I don't kill it. And then he comes from the back and kills me. That would be hilariously sad. One of these. I mean, if we clear this, I think we just win the game, no? We might be capable of clearing it as well. We have a recall available too, which is huge. Eh, lame. There literally was a second difference, or what, like a millisecond difference. Yes, exactly. Hey, piss off, mate. I don't want you around here. Oh my god, how long is the range of that garbage? It's not fair. Is he actually going back to build more BCs? Because if he can't, I think I'm in an okay spot. But I believe he might have been capable of yeah, repairing that. That's what I was afraid of. Oh, that was not great. Oh my god, I'm an actual idiot. I hate it when I make huge errors for no real reason. if he actually is expanding at this point or not or if this is like some weird one base never ending all in I hate it when I play poor. oh my god there's such a free win as well that's what makes this so much worse like I actually had a free win again I'm just gonna play carriers at this point because I don't think I can do anything else. So I'm gonna cancel this. Robo Bay. More voids as well. What's he doing? Oh, I really need to kill this. Yamato just finished right in front of my eyes. Oh my god. That is really bad for one simple reason because it's going to allow him to continuously Yamato crap and that's pissing me off. Just the thought of that is pissing me off. This is not an army that you can fight with. What is he doing? That's not okay. Yes, yes, that was not okay. If he actually would have gone with that, I would have been truly upset. No, this is also not okay. Wait, one of those is going to be just completely blasted here now. Please tell me I just kill you here. So he has four, he has three then or what? I'm not sure anymore what's happening now. Just gonna build a couple more of these voids. So 
Going tanks. Technically a unit. But also not really. Okay, yes, two. How fast is the, the, the teleport back then, huh? Makes you wonder. It makes me wonder. Do I want carriers first or tempest first? It's my next question that I have. He's actually gonna move out, isn't he? Go prick. I'll get some tempest first, I guess. It's not gonna hurt too much, is it? Whoop! <laughs> Adios, my friend! Wait, hello? What is this? You're stuck in between? You're supposed to die, not stuck in between. Ah, oh, come on. Did you just clear a Colossus by Yamatoing it? I think he did. I actually think he did. That's pretty cool. Not going to complain about that at all. Today, it's gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. Where's my range on Colossus? Because I never really had a clue. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. Backstreet. Yeah, we should put that. Nice game, though. This is a free win for me, and I threw it away into the trash. Losing my adapts on the right side, not killing this in time. I should have had my phoenixes here to clear this thing, obviously. If I clear this starport, the game... Ah, but I can't because he was there. Okay, maybe I didn't do this too poor. I am just behind, though. Let me have a look. Did I just go there too slow? I mean, I figured it out really fast what was going on. 31 to 27. 33 to 29. I'm not, really chrono I'm not really building workers very properly. I think I just went there too slow. He had like no units. Yeah. And then I micro improperly against everything else. Yeah. Like here, I could have just completely destroyed this. Should have built one Void as well once I figured out what was coming. Because if you can't get Yamato, Void Rays are really good against battle cruisers. Yikers! And then at this point, I think the game was over. But that I can live with. Any good players from South Africa? There used to be Panda Tank who was good, but now there's no one really. Today has been such a disaster. It really has been. Every single game so far has been a disaster. I don't want to talk about it. Enjoyed Katowice so much that I'm sending you money for no reason. Thank you, Lichies. I appreciate that. Captain, I'm low plat and very new to the game. How do we turns that Marine rush me? I'm a Protoss player. Love your videos. Build batteries. Batteries and stalkers are often good. Hmm. Depends what the timing is, but you can also try and get Colossus out. Colossus are also very good. This is why I go Archives before Bay. Coloss melt to the tank marine pushes. You can play Phoenix into Templar Archives, though. It's not very viable. Or, well, it's not viable at all. That's why you never see it. Uh, off of Blink it is possible, but it's not possible to play Blink in or to play Phoenix into Archives. Unless you and especially against two gas, it is fairly difficult. Like you'll just die before. Oh wait, it's a PvP. Oops. Just gonna play uh, two gate here. Don't really feel like playing one gate versus one gate against Skillet. He's quite good at it. And yeah. <clears throat> now the main problem that last game is just, I think too little pro production. So poor mechanics out of me. 
Ooh, he's actually one gating. That's interesting. This is another one of those things I don't enjoy playing against when they get the Nexus down. And you're opening with two gate. It tends to actually be quite bad. Let's see if we can actually get something going though. Sometimes you can still just deal damage, but don't think that's quite going to be possible here. Adept, Adept as an opener? That's what? Adept as well, maybe? Stargate? Not here yet. Straight stalker. The firstborn shall persevere. Let we combat away. Combat. I don't know, my friends. Yes, this feels kind of painful for my opponent. Let's Painfully bad. Because yes, he's not going to get any info here whatsoever. Give us. Let your will be heard. So, the only Give thing that he can do is play. A pretty blind style, I guess. You have not enough minerals, not enough energy. So he's he's gonna have to play completely blind at this point, right? That's the one thing I do know for sure. I'm not so sure if that's good. Problem is I have a full wall as well, which is also kind of garbage, honestly, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. One, pop out. Pop out, Ellie. Oh, I. Da, 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 da. At this moment, you mean everything. With you in the dress, oh my thoughts, I confess. Virgin dirty. Oh, come on, Ellie. That is also not good for me. I think we're dead. Because we have literally no way of building more work. You know? Or more units, sorry. No, that wasn't good. I think there's actually a pretty foolproof way to do it. To get into Robo, as long as I don't have anything proxied, he's probably fine. If I proxy my Robo, he's dead. Because then I can just send in Immortals myself. I think I'm winning. Because I can get a way faster Robo than him. Yeah. Like my first Immortal will start before his first Immortal still starts as well. This is not good. I was not happy with this. We'll pretend like it never happened. Why didn't you take out the pylon? Because I couldn't. Not enough DPS. You can just heal it with the battery. Why do you enjoy 2-gate so much? Uh, I think it's better. In a lot of situations. Especially on this map. I just wasn't playing so well. Yeah, I like proxying robotics against this. Do you agree with what Astraea said on how he would want the Disruptor to be removed? He says it makes the race more interesting and forces some changes. Um, sure. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't think you can really remove individual units like that. 
it will definitely force some changes. And I think in general, I'm a fan of not having the disruptor be very powerful. I think it's bad when individual units carry a lot of power, uh, especially if they're inconsistent. Like if a unit is very good by itself, that is fine as long as it's like consistent with that, I think. Like for example, the ghost, you pretty much know what you're gonna get when you build a ghost. You know what you're gonna get when you build a, an ultra. You know what you're gonna get when you build a lurker. You don't really know what you're gonna get when you build a disruptor. I think that is the probably the most annoying part. And I, it's also, I think, one of the the worst, like the worst good units because of that, especially at lower level. I think in general, when units are kind of consistent, it's nice, like in their in their output. I guess banelings don't have it that much, but you kind of know what you can expect with banelings majority of the time. This has been a, a poor day of game so far. But the beauty of StarCraft 2 is that it's not like there's an end to it, you know? So I can continue playing until I start getting good games, you know? I can play as bad as I want for five hours, but if I win four games in a row, I end up feeling really good. Sadly, that also works the other way around. <laughs> you can have a great day and lose three ga games in a row and never want to play the game again. It's not great, maybe. What are my opponents doing? Double, uh, double chrono boost still available. You see that? It's interesting. It's very interesting. Up, oh, get that one out. Mm. Actually, it's somewhat of a wall. Let's see what he's building. Sentry stalker. All right, my friend. Me and Fighting Frog are good friends, by the way. Get along well. Um, against this opener, you can uh, straight away get a Nexus. Because there's very little that can kill you off of this. Especially if you see second and third pylon in the main base. <clears throat> so the one thing that might be somewhat dangerous is... Actually, what is actually dangerous here? I'm not so sure if there's anything that's dangerous. Considering I can also scout. Okay, this is actually weird. Yes. Huh? If there's no nexus here, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's actually fairly interesting. Okay. Huh. We'll go into the details of this game after. But I am fairly confused right now. Can I just say that? Our window is short. Extrapolating strings. You have not enough minerals. Okay, I have no clue what's going on. I give up. I'm okay with my Void Ray still. I think it was a good call. But I would never recommend anyone play like my opponent is playing here. I got another one of these. I mean, I have a significant lead over here. Let's just say it how it is, right? That's why people appreciate me, because I say it how it is. How I roll. Jeep. You have not enough minerals. You have not enough. <sighs> okay, I'm I'm just extremely confused because I, I 
I don't understand what this build order was. I've never seen something like this before in my life. This was six units, sentry stalker, with a heavy focus on getting more units out. And as a result, having very poor eco, but good scouting. And then my men build a, that looked to be a stargate, correct? I don't think I'm incorrect when I say that was a stargate. I think there might be a, like a pylon proxy. There has to be a pylon proxy, basically. Oh, that was a good move. That was a move I approve of. Most definitely a move I approve of. Looking for that snipe on the on the Oracle. That was cool. All right, I enjoy that. Hello. Where are we at, though? Where are we at? Okay, also a third base. Maybe I just cancel my my battery then. Phoenix? Charge. I guess. It's not a lot of Phoenixes, huh? I am here in the shadows. Okay, here we go. The moment our blink finishes up, I think we have a timing. So that's what we're heading out for. Our blink timing. Eh, not great. I just don't know what's going on. So, he'll need a high number in my mind. Okay, let, let me let me go over the theory here. What what the theory is in my mind at least. It's gonna need a high number of phoenixes for it to be worth it to produce phoenixes in the first place. So I'm expecting continued phoenix production. Against that, I think I can play this type of stuff. Just get vision, poke in, one shot phoenixes. Poke out. One shot salads, one shot stalkers. Like, there's no reason for me to be worried. I'm also going to be getting a faster extra base. And on top of that, I'm going into a uh, charge myself. So. I think he spotted that. I mean, I did make it fairly obvious what I was going for. Ooh, that wasn't great. Still think we're really far ahead. And now we're just gonna move out and win the game, no? more gates oh losing that was pain that was for sure one shot all these phoenixes come on calf not the tightest uh, hold by me you're kind of caught in a in an odd angle there. We have more of these on the way, and I want to also get more information. Like, what is your base count right now? What should my base count be based on that? I'm actually, starting to get a little bit nervous that I might be losing this game. At the same time, I feel like I shouldn't worry too much. Let's take a look at his actual actual eco rather than what I the speculated eco that I think he might have ah that was the pylon no base here no base here there's no base here I'm winning hard that base is late 
So his fourth base is similarly timed to my fifth. Got another forge over here then. Do want to make sure I don't die against random DTs? Probably need some type of detection in the near future. Ooh, Phoenix is moving out. Probably allows me to clear this base. One. Cancel, 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 cancel. No cancel. All I need to do right now is not die. If I die right now, I'd be kind of upset. My early game was so good. Ooh. Wait, he has no upgrades. What? Hmm? Hey, he has no upgrades. I have plus two. I'm on the way to two one. I'm going to be up like five upgrades. And I'm up bases as well. I'm up everything. Probably shouldn't have tried attacking into someone that doesn't have any upgrades, huh? Still no upgrades. I'm gonna warp in some over here. Because any fight that I can take anywhere on the map is going to be good. As long as I'm trading out stuff. I ideally don't want him to have a massive army coming at my doorstep. That's probably the worst thing that can happen to me. So these are good fights because I have way better upgrades. If we just have better upgrades. Surely I'm just winning because of that, right? I'm also winning this fight. This feels good for me still. Like all we need to do is survive, 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 survive. As long as we're doing that, I'm zero worried about any of this stuff. Yeah, I should be zero worried about this stuff because I'm winning really hard. We're up two upgrades right now, and soon we're going to be up ten upgrades. <gasps> For a second I got afraid that I might still die, but... I mean, I played too greedy once again. I really didn't think he had no upgrades. So he had lower eco and less upgrades than I thought he did. And he must have played like six gas. Just pure immortal charge load. Eleven gates. He had more eco, or more, more, more infrastructure than I had. Allowed him for quick reinforcements during those fights. That hurt me a little bit. <sighs> GG well played, yeah. Nice game, thank you Steadfast. There's only 9 upgrades, maybe for you. Why didn't you add Immortals yourself? So, uh, oh, thank someone for... Thank you Marager for the 30... I don't even know what this symbol means. What in the world is this? 30 shekels. Oh, thank you for the shekels. Um, what was I gonna say? Why didn't you add Immortals? Right. I didn't add Immortals because my opponent was playing Phoenixes, and the main ability of the Phoenix is the Graviton Beam, which basically disables a major unit out of the fight. So if you're playing against a lot of Phoenixes, a good trick in PvP is to not actually get any units that he wants to lift. If my, if your opponent is investing 150 minerals and 100 gas into a two-supply unit, and all it does in a fight is lift a zealot, that is a very good trade for you, because the zealot is only 100 minerals for you. However, if you're building a freaking immortal, which is infinitely expensive and costs more supply, your opponent is always going to get basically a worthwhile trades there when it comes to lifting units, disabling units. Phoenixes are good at harassment, and then during the fight, you want to minimize their impact. You also want to minimize their harassment. And if you can do that, Phoenixes are not so good in an army. That tends to be the rule. Is it better to go all Stalker there or add a few Archons? I think pure Stalker Zealot is completely fine. 
I heard somebody tell Rainer when he was playing Oliver. I didn't tell him much. He just spoke. It's, it's like just making sure that the, the plan is there, you know? Most of the time when I would have someone talking to me, you just kind of want to tell them your plan so you have it properly set up in your head. Like it, it's often not about something new, the new information. It's not about new information. It's just reiterating the same old information, making sure you're on the correct path. In another video, I have a composition stalker immo archons. Yeah, if the problem was that I wasn't on very high gas count. So getting mixing in archons wasn't viable for me. I could have mixed in archons. That actually would have been okay because they can't be lifted. And I think if you get a lot of archons, adding in some immortals isn't that bad. But I played a low gas count. I was on four gas, so I can't afford archons. So the only other unit I can fill in is either Disruptor or Immortal. And neither of those units are good against Phoenix. Your hair looks nice. Did you put any product in it? No, my hair is almost always au naturel. Uh, I, I don't know. The problem is, if I put something in my hair, my hair feels greasy. You know what I mean? And my it feels heavier. I don't like that at all. I don't understand how people live with always putting stuff in their hair. It's awful. I really don't enjoy putting stuff in my hair. Oh, I was gonna explain why I didn't like his build order as well last game. Well, we'll do that another time. Another time it is. This is a 6.6 .6 player. I actually want to win because then I might get some freaking MMR, which I haven't seen in a while. MMR has been pretty much down the drain. I actually wonder who it is. Is this Maxi? Maxi Paxi? Maxi Paxi? Come on, Max. It's possible it's Max. I don't know who else it would be. Maybe DNS. Whenever I used to play against barcodes and I didn't know who it was, I always just assumed it was DNS. Then DNS would message me after the game. It's like, oh, that wasn't me. I was actually watching your stream. <laughs> very common occurrence. I was, was very happy with. About. I haven't seen DNS for a while on the letter now, though. Come on. There we go, Mr. Pylon. Oh, might actually be Max Pax, yeah. Do seem to be... Uh, does seem to be the case. Somewhat the case, at least. Okay, I'm just gonna piss off with this worker. We're, we're never gonna finish this probe, but I'm gonna pretend like I'm building that probe. Just gonna foregate here, really. So he constantly sees this thing as being still being researched or still being built. Like you have the animation of the probe, so he might think that I'm actually going for a macro build. Well, in reality, I'm doing a lot of things, but definitely not macro. <laughs> We're gonna all in here. Ba -da -da -da. This is a trick that uh, my good friend Skillis told me about. He kind of figured this out, I think. Come on, shoot it! Thank you. Thank you, this, huh? Yeah, I think this game practically is over right now. Don't think you can actually hold, can you? Can you? Hello. There we go. I'm not sure if I even should let these finish. Or if I, I cancel, I cancel, I cancel. Just warp in. Warp in, they're, they're faster. It's probably a better play. Then you just go for it. Jip. Ooh, what is that? That's garbage, is what it is. Oh, 
This wasn't quite how I wanted it. Honest to God. No, this was a mistake. I messed it up. Completely. Again, as always. Why can I never do anything correct? This should have been a win. Or well, I'm not sure if it should have been a win, but I wanted this to be a win real bad. I'll show what I did wrong here. So either what you do is you basically force yourself kind of into this and you clear the void race or you go for the batteries. But you should never go for the pile in here. This is idiotic. It took so long. It took like five, six volleys. I can just clear these batteries, walk by, or I can just walk by immediately. Let this be for what it is. And piss off. Now I lost freaking nine stalkers for nothing oh that was not good this is still probably the best map for the defensive play that he goes this is definitely max specs i don't think this build is viable i just played it poorly you would make batteries in front of his wall and proxy ebay plus disruptors that's really bad it's not viable batteries only give you half and he's out mining you so the more batteries you build the better it gets for your opponent because basically he's doubling the the efficiency of your money and he's also out mining you so there's really doubly no way for you to, to win it, I think. But I could be wrong about that, of course. Although I'm pretty sure I'm not. And going for disruptors in that case is also not good because he almost only has air units. So if you're investing like a lot of resources into, into disruptors, that's just going to suck for you. Or just going, yeah, if you're investing a lot into Disruptor, it's going to suck for you because he's going to have so many Void Rays. He can probably play like double Stargate at some point. Um, you're not going to have enough anti-air or you're not going to have enough Disruptor. So either you won't even be capable of breaking the wall with your Disruptor once every, what, 20 seconds. The best way is to either play Blink or to play Proxy Robo. I kind of like Proxy Robo. Um, ideally, he also blocked the early game, though, if I recall correctly. I didn't do that here. Okay, we're actually gonna go for a uh, Blink Stalk Rollin this time. Pretty sure he's gonna play the same build anyway. actually gonna proxy the twilight as well which is gonna allow me for faster blink and it's gonna confuse my opponent a little bit more which is always a good thing to do if you have the ability to confuse your opponent always do it in my mind at least I hate that he didn't scout there. Like he needs to see the fact that I'm late on my stalker and my adept. That would actually be good for me here if my opponent sees that. Because then he might believe it's like a Stargate opener and get the you know, blind battery in the main base, which would be really good for me. Some triple workers here. Not enough energy. Our pylon is under attack. Ah, oh, come on. 
Is he really stuck inside now? And I let that finish. Life isn't fair. Boards are locked. We serve. Give us your command. Let not you require. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. What did I just kill? I don't know what I just killed. That feels good for me. He's getting a cannon. Interesting call. I don't think cannon defense is that good against Blink. But maybe I'm wrong. I also thought his last defense wasn't gonna work, and then I attacked the pylon like a moron. And it definitely did work. So that was nice for him. Blink's about to finish up. Okay, he just used his shade, which means he can't block me now, which is interesting. Be bad for him. Okay, here we go. We have our blink ability. One, two, three. One, one, die. Thank you, good sir. You die as well. Oh my god, I lost it. Some idiots for free. Playing like an idiot, playing like an idiot, and playing like a free idiot. Finally we won. Man, I've been telling you guys, it's good in the brain, it's the hands today that are slow, okay? I didn't play, well, I played some games yesterday, but whenever I travel, I sleep poorly, games don't go well, but now we won a game. <sighs> Finally, against someone that isn't 5'8". <sighs> good lord. How does Maxpex feel after the battery nerf? He feels worse. Well, th that build is just worse. Maxpex is still as good as he was before, but his favorite build is now a little bit worse. Ay, ay, ay. How long did you hold your breath for there? Seemed, uh, like since the first blink? Yeah. I always hold my breath when things get exciting. Sometimes during movies I pass out. Especially during horror movies. Not because I'm afraid, but because I hold my breath when something exciting is about to happen. If the music lasts a little bit too long, it's over for me and I pass out. That's life. Yeah, I'll do that then, Welch. Congrats on the win. I award you the explanation of why some guys wear hair products. What is the explanation? Because we aren't attractive. <laughs> No, okay, listen to this. The thing with hair products is, is that the entire day your hair feels like crap. And I don't understand how that works. Like, why would you want that in life? I don't understand it. Like, I kind of understand makeup because whenever I put makeup on, it isn't so bad. Like you feel it for a little bit, but then it wears off. But with hair product, the entire day you just feel that your hair is garbage. Like it just feels like, it feels disgusting. You can't touch it because it feels disgusting the entire time. Just always. I hate it. I really hate it. Did you and the other pros party after I am? Yeah. I mean, depends how you define a party. We played Avalon till 4 a.m. A couple of cheeky drinks. Drank some tea as well. Played the crypto. So yeah, you could say we went pretty wild.
Do you ever play Starcraft in your dreams while you are sleeping? No. I never do that. He argued that Maru's mistakes in the TVD finals against time were unprecedented. Thanks, good luck. Um, I don't know. I haven't I haven't played close enough in Ash to the TVD finals. Also, my knowledge of TVT is is poor. I think that Maru was making uncharacteristic errors though. Like just flying Medivax into Cyclones. He seemed he didn't seem on point. The funny thing is when people think about Maru, they often don't believe that he can be nervous for things as well. It's the same way if like if you think of like Cyril or Rainer, like these very achieved players or dark. Just because someone is a very achieved player doesn't mean they don't get nervous or excited when playing like a big match. Like Maru seemed extremely nervous during the entire match, probably because he was such a massive favorite. And he's never won a world championship before. I don't think he necessarily choked because I also believe that Oliveira played very well, but it did feel like there were a lot of, you know, uncharacteristic mistakes that, I don't know, felt weird. Uh, people, uh, people really underestimate in general how much like nerves and not even just necessarily nerves, but just how you feel at the moment just contribute to playing well. It really matters. It's always different as well up on stage compared to playing from home, you know? It's really... It's not a very similar feeling at all. Like, not at all. Dude, totally miss you. So there's always something to keep in mind. That's definitely a factory. I'm still not entirely sure how I would like to play this uh, th this opener. So, when you're playing against two gas, there's there's a couple of builds where I'm just not so sure what the correct play is. And one of my least favorite things to play against is a is like a two reaper one hellion sacrifice into relatively quick tech. I think these builds are quite good. Like they they definitely. Are legit in a way you know it's not not a pure gimmick Come! For the love of everything, that's holy. I hate it when I move like a complete idiot. Holy crap, that was terribly done by me. Gee, I'm just not entirely sure here what's the... Like, what's the play? One of the things I saw Classic do, who is someone I really respect when it comes to build orders, is he would play something like 2-gate, open with Phoenixes, 2-gate, and then based on his scout would add a Robo. His Robo always was so late, which I usually always said is garbage, but when I saw him play it, I was like, oh, you know, maybe there's something to it. I don't know, it's hard to say. gonna move this across the map I guess you really need to be careful as well with your expansion timings in that case another thing you can't forget gas is important as always <sighs> gonna get one more stupid phoenix out Successful. 
Once I see him push across the map, I can just go in with my phoenixes and maybe go for a defensive setup. But what if he never... Wait, what's that? What was that? No, oh my god, I'm an idiot. Playing so much slower than my opponent today. Where are you at, Chief? How did I miss him? Completely. How is this even possible? Still feel like I'm not playing so hot, huh? Where are you at, buddy? Okay, just gonna make sure I have full vision everywhere. He built a lot of Vikings. Surely that is not good. You have not My build order seemed fine though, defensively here. <laughs> of course, move to a side where I don't see. Oh my god, I lost two workers. Two workers for free. Or two workers, two phoenixes for free. And he was here all along. I think I just love the game again. I've been playing so far today. It's actually insane. This is also an interesting build order. I think if I have a battery, my life is okay. <sighs> Should have had some vision here. I flew uh, across the map so freely, like a bit of a moron. And I also saw this. Look, I saw the fact that he was researching, so I knew this was coming. So my plan should be to get Nexus, pile and battery immediately. And if I don't think I can hold my Nexus, I just counterattack with my Phoenixes and hold my natural with a battery and a Colossus that's coming out. I can clear like 20 works or something with Phoenix. This is actually the worst possible timing. I lost two? Yeah, two. Even here, what I can do is I can go across the map and start clearing workers. I have what? One, two, three, four. I have three lifts on this, two on this, two on this. So that's what? Five, seven, seven ish. I have eight kills here. So I can just play two base for longer then. Depend on my Colossus and my other crap. I think it should be fine. Better than just attacking into this. Macfield is really, really strong sometimes. I don't really appreciate this build though. I don't think it's so good. But I died, so what can I say? Not a whole lot. <laughs> Stargate one Oracle, one Oracle is how Hero handles it. Also battery and natural. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of Oracle openers against this though. I prefer Phoenix for a faster scout. Say that your hands are cold. Yeah, I should. I think I need to have some vision on the right side as well. Until my observer makes it across the map. He's really hitting the sweet spot just before my observer arrives and before I have a good vision. <sighs> Isn't the main problem with Phoenix is that you don't have enough stuff on the ground if the Terran players build a massive ground army quick and stims you to death? Knap gedaan, kaptein. Did Oliveira leave already or is he joining later? Oliveira never was here. But thanks for the 80 uh, South African rants. Do you think Protoss could use a late game upgrade? Um, I don't know. Could we? I mean, we can always use a late game upgrade. I'm just not sure if it's necessary. Mm. Like, maybe. I, I think maybe Zealots are not so strong in the late game in every single matchup. But they still have like a, a use case in, in harassment, so... I, I don't think it's so bad. Maybe Stalkers are really bad. Like, Stalkers genuinely suck in the late game in, I think, every single matchup. Except PvP, maybe. 
Adapts are garbage. I think that is a unit that if you would want to change something for Protoss in the late game, you could give the Adept some crazy upgrade locked behind an expensive upgrade that would make it like, a, yeah, that would make it good. Because right now it's not good. It's just not a good unit at all. Like it, it has almost no purpose in any matchup. Like it is good in the early game against Zerg or well, it's playable. I wouldn't even call it good. This might not be max packs, but someone else. <coughs> max packs usually is not. <laughs> it's usually not this chatty. <laughs> one gate versus one gate, maybe. Yeah. I don't know anyone else though that plays one gate at this higher level. Gonna block this for a little bit. And if I can get a zealot from my opponent, that would be fantastic as well. I would love to get a zealot out of my opponent here. One fifty one is when I want to start blocking again. Before that, there's no point because my opponent won't have the the funds to do anything. So this is all fake blocks. Now I really need to start blocking, and I need to block for fourteen seconds. So that's when most of the time the zealot ends up finishing. Like one o two or two o three, two o two, whatever you have. Okay, here it is. You will have target. Doesn't seem to be the case quite. Gotta make sure that I don't lose my worker that is over here. If I lose this worker, game ends. Because I can't build this gateway then. Oh, I think he spotted that. It's kind of late with that now. I'm gonna clear this as well. One more chrono here. Wonder what his follow up is going to be. Is that in time for me? Yeah. Just barely. My gateway is just barely. Eh, okay, barely too late actually. Wonder if there's going to be an Oracle in my main base or not. That's obviously going to be the next step for my opponent here. if I'm winning this. Doesn't seem to have any cash though for cannons, which is a good a good thing for me. Come on, for the love of God, just die. Yeah, this didn't go well. I'm 
I wonder if this was good. Yeah, get two back home. Maybe it's not the end of the world. But how am I gonna ever pop out? Guess I need to kill this gate. I cleared some workers. But I don't think I cleared enough, did I? Was there a robo there? No, just a forge. Maybe I shouldn't have jumped in so fast. Waited for one more, or what? That's that. Maybe still have a chance. Oh, come on! It's gonna be uh, Immortals out or something now, pretty soon. Yeah. Dang it, I knew it! Come on. Arm supply block. Nice one, okay. Pop! You die. You die as well. Close-ish, but not really there. I think if we wait a little bit longer with our initial move-in, I think this was a mistake, right? <sighs> We're so deep already at this point. Maybe I just clear cannons. Try to force it out, wait for one more. So I can... Because with one more warp-in, I can clear this. I can move through the super battery. That's for sure. But now I couldn't. This is just, this is pointless. I think if I clear batteries and then wait for my next warp in, he has nothing. Like he has no unit production, it's just pure cannon void ray. So here. So I run forward. Poof. Right click this. Or maybe here, right click this unit. Then right click the cannon. Poof. Like, I can just move forward and right-click cannons. Even if I lose one or two stalkers, I think that's fine. Because if there's no cannons, I can clear the wall for free. I see no warp gate research. Not so good at this. But that's why we practice. Even a normal person like me can do it, according to Oliveira. But we'll have to wait for that. Hello, handsome. What is your favorite extreme sport? Like, medium to full adrenaline level extreme where medium is mountain skiing. I guess snowboarding? I haven't done anything else. I I snowboard. I like snowboarding. It's very fun. I went a while ago again into like one of these indoor halls and I had a very good time. Mm, I'm a little bit too afraid though, I think, for extreme sports. Like I can't truly, you know, I guess if you have more control or if you're better, it might get, you know, easier as well, but not the case yet for me. I'm not so great. Uh, I tried uh, wakeboarding as well, which I thought was fun. Now, I didn't start it as a no. I did a lot as a kid. Like I can, I can go down mountains. You know, like I've been through. Like I can do when, whenever you go to one of the regular things. I'm but I can't do any tricks, for example. Like I'm too afraid to do tricks. 
Like I can jump, but I'm too I'm too scared to do tricks. If you try diving, no, I, it doesn't interest me. I heard you were fantastic at wakeboarding. This is an experience I don't want to talk about. Thanks for the 30 shackles, by the way, uh, Maragar. Artem, you have to poof all your opponents to reach rank one. Yeah. I have to. Have you tried chess? That's not really an extreme sport. I have tried chess, though. It's pretty fun. Um, but the problem with chess is, is you too much studying in order to have fun, I think. Chess is only fun when you're winning. And you win by reading books and by, you know, analyzing your games. There's no mechanical aspect to it, which I think is... I wish there was more, you know, more speed involved in chess, which there isn't. Like speed doesn't matter in chess. We're like athletic ability, which is bad. I heard archery isn't your sport either. Archery was very fun. I enjoyed that. I wasn't great at it, but I didn't try for so long. So I'm fine with that. I enjoyed archery. It gave me some of the most insane muscle ache, though. In, like, my back. It was mental. I played chess with timers. Yeah, but there's no... There, I mean, there's no advantage of being capable of moving the pieces very fast. Like, there's no... You know, the, you don't get a a bonus for that. Like you do with StarCraft 2. Yeah, there is bullet chess. No, but bullet bullet chess. I, no, no, no. What I mean by like a mechanical aspect is in StarCraft, like I can't move faster than my opponent does. You know, in chess. Having quick hands doesn't matter at all. Do you play paintball? I played paintball before. That was very fun as well. And I would like doing that again. But I think I would prefer the airsoft stuff. I, the problem with paintball is that you use paint. And the airsoft, you just you use like little bullets. The, the concept is very good. It's like playing Call of Duty in real life. Like, and no one gets killed. It's It seems very exciting, you know? I, I watched some... I used to watch this YouTuber that would uh, make videos of him playing airsoft. Which I thought was pretty cool. And I would like watch them and... I don't know. It looked interesting. I always thought that is something that I might do in the future. It also sounds like a hassle to get started with it. All these nerds with their guns. You know, they, they know so well. An expensive hobby as well, probably. So, I don't know. It's fine not to do extreme sports. Yeah, yeah, I know it's fine. Uh, but I like snowboarding. It's uh, something I like. What do you think about Japan? I have no thoughts about Japan. Have you ever played against Day9? I don't think I have. How long will be you be a pro gamer? As long as I can. Have any future Premier StarCraft 2 tournaments been announced yet? No. Does that worry me? A little bit. <laughs> Just a tiny bit. I, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Isn't Airsoft cheaper than Paintball? Probably, yeah. I wouldn't surprise you. I don't know too much about it. Have you been in a sauna? Yeah, of course. I'm not an idiot. <sighs> All right. Uh, that's it for today. Cheeky three hours. Rumor on the street is, is that I might be back here on YouTube before next Wednesday. But this could just be a rumor. I'm not sure if it's true. Did he win this stream? If you look very closely, you might find some wins. But uh, it's hard to say. Mm. For now, my friends, I'd like all of you, encourage all of you to uh, go to my good friend Kalazur's stream. As he beat me twice, so he deserves the views. And I'll, uh, I'll see you all next time. Sadly, he's not streaming on YouTube. Uh, that's life. <laughs>